while we catch our breath, mm -hmm. we're going to have a little bit of stand-up. Uh, this comic has been performing all around Portland for about a year. Uh, has a single out on Spotify called, uh, you can look it up under Creme Brulee. Uh, please welcome stand up Christian Burke. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Give it up for yourself for coming to the thing. Yeah! I've loved the show so far. There's nothing I love more than watching untrained white people learn how to dance. Yeah! What a fun, op what a fun opener. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. Anyone from the South? No? Not, not that one. Not that one. Two of the worst things you could have yelled out, uh, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Something about the South, there's two sides of sexuality. Uh, there's straight and there's going to hell. Um, so when I moved to Portland about a year ago, I discovered there's a whole uh, a spectrum of sexualities. And I identify as pansexual now. Um, Cause I'll fuck everybody in here, okay? <laughs> I don't care, I'll fuck you, I'll fuck. Cause I don't think gender or anything is as attractive as context is. Like if I was tied to some train tracks and the train was quickly approaching at full speed and the last second you saved my life, I would definitely fuck you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would fuck you, I'd blow you, I'd do whatever. Basically, if you save my ass, it belongs to you. <laughs> I've been in Portland, like I said, for about a year now. Uh, I like being in Portland, because uh, when you look at this, all you have to do to get laid is convince drunk white girls you're Damian Lillard. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun <laughs> for me. I've seen me at a bar with a basketball, throw me out of you, because it is Dame time. Um, one thing I don't like about dating here is everyone's got pets. Make some noise, y'all got pets? I'm, do I'm done fucking people with pets, okay? I love animals, and I love getting my dick sucked. But I'm tired of getting my dick sucked while Fido's in the corner, like, perking his ears up every time I moan, okay? I'm trying to relax. Plus, there's the risk of things happening. You know what I'm talking about? I'll set the scene for you. I'm with a lady. I'm going down real aggressive. My booty's in the air because I'm having a good time. And I guess her dog was feeling left out because uh, who runs over to me? Two licks on the asshole, three most, and I push them off and keep going, because not even being sexually molested by an animal can slow down my sex drive. Um, but I regret that I kept going, because after we finished, she like rewarded him for being good, because she didn't know. Uh, so I had to watch my abuser get fed a treat. And I don't really, I don't speak dog, but the look in his eyes only said, that ass is mine. <laughs> It's getting colder now, uh, everyone's getting uglier, so I ended a monogamous relationship. Make some noise for the end of my youth, yeah? I don't know if I can do monogamy. Like, I'm excited, I love my partner, I don't know if I can do monogamy, I've been a slut for so long. Uh, I don't know if I can just do, like, the sex is cool, but it's like having the same, like my favorite food every day. You know what I mean? I'm a kinky dude, my favorite food's oatmeal, because nothing tastes better than knowing one of the healthy shit later. Um, but imagine every day I woke up to a hot, fresh, horny bowl of oatmeal, right? Eventually, I would get tired of it. No matter how much you tried to spice it up with like fruit and nuts and anal, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna get tired of it. You can probably tell uh, by the fact that I compared her to oatmeal that my partner's white. <laughs> I like white girls, I'm gonna be real. Uh, Y'all pussy tastes like peach LaCroix, and I think that's fantastic. <laughs> I would continue comparing uh, women to flavors, uh, but I don't want to get into any like racially charged material. Um, but I will say I chose to be with a white girl as a, a man of color, uh, because sometimes you want like a, like a nice, home-cooked, spicy, soulful meal, and sometimes you want to fuck a white girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> I surprisingly had never had sex with a black girl until I moved uh, to Portland. It was one of the six of them, okay? Think about when you know, let's say it was her for this joke. Um, <laughs> and because Portland's the kinky place it is, she asked me about a choker while we were having sex. And at first, I was apprehensive. I was like, shorty, no, come on. This is exactly what Fox News wants, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is a black on black violence, you know? What would Martin the King thing? What would Rosa Parks think? What would your mom think? But eventually I had to do it uh, because Here's a list of people who can tell me what to do. Women of color. <laughs> and I would like, I would love, I could only choke women of color. I would love to choke all the privileged porcelain necks out in the audience. You know I would, but I'm afraid some like ancestral, like Wakanda shit would kick in. 
don't have to finish the job. I feel some people might be uncomfortable with that joke. I don't understand that. <laughs> uh, since moving to Portland, though, because of, I guess, demographics or whatever you may, may have, it, I, my porn preferences have changed. Y'all watch porn? Make some noise if y'all watch porn out there. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. The rest of y'all are lying, I know that. Um, my porn preferences have changed. I like black.com. Does anyone here know what black.com is? Just imagine the type of porn you think I watch. Just imagine it. Just like a dude in Timberlands and just some like small white girl is like, ah, give me your black cum. And <laughs> like Pirates of the Caribbean and the Curse of the Black Cum. Like <laughs> shit like that. Like that type of video. Like my dream porno would be like the Detroit Pistons versus Martha Stewart. You know what I mean? <laughs> Right now, you go on my phone, and the search bar it says Los Angeles Lakers versus Hillary Clinton. I swear to God. Aww. And I don't know if it's because, you know, I like the submissiveness or like something kinky about it, or I just get off to the idea of that many black people congregating. <laughs> my name is Christian Burke. You guys have a great rest of your night. <laughs> somebody leaves on an awkward note. Uh -huh. It's my favorite.